This is Donnie Jackson, editor of IWC's Urgent Communications, and today we're in Nashville, Tennessee at APCO 2023, and um, I'm in the Zetron booth, speaking on my left with Blake Richardson, on my right with Ray Morrow of uh, Zetron and Blake Richardson with Ease Alert. Uh, guys, thanks for taking the time to speak with me. Hi, Donnie. Thank you. Thanks. So, um, Tell us what, you guys have all kinds of things to automate things, especially with in a fire station. What's the latest here? So what we want to talk about today is our Max Fire Station Learning System, part of our Max solution of off-the-shelf products designed specifically for 911 dispatch centers, uh, police, fire, medical. And Max Fire Station Learning um, is, we're really excited about it because not only does it um, communicate seamlessly with your CAD system to do alerting, but now with our partnership with EaseAlert, we've taken it a step uh, higher with the Heart Healthy Smart Pre-Alerting that can integrate smoothly with our fire station alerting when we send out tones and PA announcements. And I'm going to turn over to Blake to tell you about the science behind um, EaseAlert. Yeah, yeah, Blake. So, hey. I, I know what alerts are. I, I've, I've had it, I've heard alarms go off. Everything else. What are some of the challenges that comes with that, though, and the dangers? Well, it's the feeling of your heart going from zero to 100. It's mm -hmm. uncomfortable, and most people just say you just got to deal with it. But science recently has pointed to that is actually very detrimental for your health. Mm -hmm. So firefighters are up to 14.1 times more likely to die of a heart attack during alarm response than non-emergency duties. A lot of that has to do with that consistent startle, startle response and the fight or flight that they suffer when a loud alarm comes in. So that's where Ease Alert comes to play with reducing that auditory startle reaction with our tactile alerts on the wearables and red lights on the bunk alerts, which you'll see in the demo here. We're really excited to integrate with Zetron's Max FSA by providing Ease Alert's firefighter alerting solution. And that seamless integration is going to make the firefighter's reaction to that alarm a lot healthier and more efficient. Okay, so you've had the Ease Alert for a while, but this is the first time you've, you've really integrated it with a, a larger uh, overall alert system. Correct? That's correct, yes. The Max FSA is our first flagship partnership. We're really excited to leverage their existing networks and back-end technology to make our system that much better. Very cool. So can you show us how it works? Sure. So what we're looking at here is the Max Station Fire Alerting Console that you'd have at your dispatch center. Down here, real quick, I'm going to point out the uh, trans touchscreen transponder that you can mount into the fire station. Now, the concept behind this is what we call event triggered stacked actions. Stacked actions are all those things that take place when a specific call comes in. Structure fire, medical call, and we what we do is we have hook up to any CAD system, our CAD system, or any any CAD systems out there. We have an API that's a lot that allows the dispatcher to trigger the fire station alerting features without even having to touch the console itself. But as an example, if I'm going to uh, do a medical alert, um, I can build in the ease alert functions into a, a stacked action. So I could do the ease alert pre alert with the wearables in the bunk, then we'd set off the lights, do the tones, do the PA announcements, all with the push of one button. And so, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, get Ease Alert going. That's vibrations down there? That's okay. correct, a five second vibration. The bunk alert, which can be placed on the wall by the bunk, that would be a, a soft glow along with the vibration of the wearable to not make the heart beat too fast, raise their blood pressure. In the meantime, while all that's happening, we've also set off the regular EMS alert for this. The tone's going off, they, and the ramp up tones, the lights are going on, the PA's going on. You can see that the metal door has gone, is opened up, the lights have been turned on. And as an example of our text to speech engine that we had built into fire station alerting. Mail 65, cardiac arrest. Wow. Mail 65, cardiac arrest. And the turnout timer. So, now what happens next is, as they acknowledge the fact that they're getting out the door, the fire station has the option of putting themselves in, in route. They're responding. They can shut their own lights, control their own doors, 
or more likely what will happen is we'll just pick up the handset in route and tell dispatch to en route they're out the door and dispatch can just reset all the station controls and turn all the lights off close the doors and the station secure the team's out and with the ease alert smart pre-alert for the heart we actually think this is going to make it more efficient and get them out of the door even quicker because they're not um, taking the time to control their own heart rate because they were slowly waking up. Okay, very cool. So, so Blake, um, how, how did you come up with this and what, what made you think of uh, doing it this way? Yeah, so my dad is a career firefighter in Florida. He's been on the job for the past 19 years and seeing the toll that the job has taken on him made me want to make firefighting less stressful. And usually that gets a laugh because it's a stressful job and you can't change that. But you can change the stressful nature of the alerting process. It's been done the same way for the past 200 years and that's audibly. Well, we're the first to come in and say it can be tactile. And using Zetron's Max FSA, that really augments our solution and really provides a, a robust alerting pro product that allows the firefighter to get out the door in an effective and less stressful manner. And in, in addition to the efficiency, this is going to help if you're outside checking the pumps or doing lawn, doing yard work, doing physical training, you have hearing protection on, now you can rely on feeling it in addition to just hearing it. So that'll reduce the risk of any missed tones and make sure you're in the truck as quickly as possible. Okay. And, and I know that this is, is geared toward the fire community and that sort of thing, but frankly, it's, I can think of a, an awful lot of other enterprises that frankly would like to have a similar alert uh, capability. Is that something you might look at in the future? We're open to anybody that can benefit from this technology. Our heart lies with the firefighters, so that's where we're going to start. But we're certainly open to other applications of this technology. Okay. Very cool. Well, um, guys, <laughs> this is really good. And just to be clear, this is available immediately? Immediately, right now. Yep. Okay. But, but we should say immediately with an ease, right? <laughs> Do it. I don't want to get anybody's heart rate going. There we so, go. Yeah, don't yeah. get their heart rate yep. going. Yep. Hey, seriously, uh, guys, this is great. Um, Blake, Ray, thanks for taking the time to speak with me. And uh, please keep in touch and let us know how this progresses. Thank you, Donnie. Appreciate it. Thanks, Donnie. Have a great show. Thank you.